Hey there, I'm Steve, and welcome to Jamson Entertainment. And welcome to the conversation. Just before we get started, there are many ways you can help. You can like and subscribe so you never miss a conversation. But most importantly, please share this video. Get the word out there as a community. We can talk about all the things that we love. Earlier this week, I saw a double feature with my friends, Free Guy and Shang-Chi. And we're going to be looking at Free Guy. I'm filming this review the day after I saw both movies. It's giving me a little time to reflect. Free Guy would not have worked with any other actor besides Ryan. Reynolds. I don't think it would have. Maybe Kevin Hart or any other comedian could have done this. I don't know. But I think it uniquely could have only been Ryan Reynolds to pull this movie off. Because the rest of the movie beyond that is pretty standard. What makes the movie unique, and even if it wasn't Ryan Reynolds, the character of Guy is a video game character that's supposed to be a non-player character, an NPC. And he becomes self-aware. This happens because he's curious about the world and him and his buddy buddy always talk about the people with the sunglasses it shows in the trailer how he gets a set of sunglasses and then he sees the world for what it really is so he thinks and what's different about this movie it's kind of a reverse fish out of water movie and i say that because it's not the character guy going from the virtual world to the real world he's staying in his own world and he's seeing it with new eyes i can't recall another movie that does this but it's really really cool and really really funny all the laughs come from ryan reynolds and his interaction with the world not so much the rest of the cast that's why I say Ryan Reynolds or another comedian. Like, I think Kevin Hart could have pulled this off wonderfully. I'd like to tell you my favorite joke in the movie, but I can't because it would probably be a spoiler. And not even for a spoiler for the plot. It would be a spoiler for the jokes. <laughs> The plot is, you have these two programmers, one that works at the company that's from the game that's called Free City, which is basically Grand Theft Auto. And then you have a person that was, no, I can't remember their names. So he's going to be Stranger Kids guy, and she's going to be Gamer Girl. <laughs> I'm sorry to be so generic, but unfortunately I can't remember the characters' names. So, Stranger Kid works at the company, and his partner used to be Gamer Girl. They both develop a game where the characters in it can be self-learning. And the idea is the people that play the game are supposed to be observing the environment, or, or simply there to interact with it, not to... A lot of games you can interact with NPCs, but they're not all that interesting, they're very coded, and they do make fun of that in the game, because the Gamer girl when she's playing she goes through and says everyone's like line scripted line in the game it's just a funny introduction to her and in some games you can kill npcs well they had this design i guess where you could interact with them and grow with them and have a real community with not only other players but with the npcs and that is an interesting concept i don't know how well it would do but they brought their idea to taika watiti's character who's the second hilarious thing in this movie because the guy is just 100 full of himself and the way he interacts with people is <laughs> unique that's hilarious i really don't think they could have gotten anyone else to be taika watiti's character maybe jim carrey but i just i don't know too obvious too overplayed jim carrey yeah he came back for sonic and it did well but i'm not gonna get sidetracked so these two developed it together and they tried to go to taika watiti and saying you stole our code and that's the story from there and guy just gets wrapped up into that story because he's just a learning ai it's an interesting plot enough but i don't know if the movie could have done well if it was anything but a comedy i'll say this about my favorite joke it pulled off a joke i didn't think they would pull off a joke but actually now that i think of it it makes sense because it's no longer 20th century fox no 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 after the acquisition by disney it's now just 20th century studios i think or 20th century productions i can't remember it popped up on the screen it wasn't the normal opening for fox because it's no longer fox and it was very weird seeing it it's like a whole new studio but it's not it's just a rebranding i'm curious if that's how they're going to do the deadpool movies because deadpool is a marvel character and they already had this promotion for the movie free guy of deadpool and what is this krug i think his name is the big rock character from thor ragnarok who's played by taika watiti the two of them mystery science 3000 the trailer for free guy it's pretty funny those are my thoughts on Free 
guy, I highly recommend you go see it in theaters. And once it hits disc, you get it on Blu-ray. Highly worth it. It's a collector's edition if you can. And let me know if you've seen it in the comments below and your thoughts on Free Guy. If you like what you saw, like it. If you think other people will like it, share it. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and live your imagination.